Hello, welcome to Nourish Technologies. In this video, I am going to give you a complete overview on uh, React.js course. So, what we are going to cover in this course. So, React is a JavaScript library for building effective user interfaces. In order to learn React, the prerequisites for React, you must have good knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So, this course is for the people who have already idea on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this course, we are not going to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript, we will use it. So, th the prerequisites are very clear. So, you must have the knowledge of these three. Once you are into the course, we will start learning about what are the challenges in modern web development. How do we overcome those challenges? What is the role of React in the modern web? We will discuss about React and other technologies in the market. What is difference like React, Angular, Vue and other libraries and frameworks. So we are going to start React with the latest version. We will discuss React 18 and however we will learn about the old features also in order to handle the real world environments where still old versions are in use. We are going to discuss React 16 below differences as well as React 18 latest features. So in uh, React, we are going to start uh, learning about how do we set up environment, how we create applications, how we can use components. We will have a complete overview of components, so data binding in components, event binding, class binding, style binding like techniques. We will learn how to build simple templates, how to create reusable components, both functional components as well as class components. So once we are good with the components interactions, we will learn about the component life cycle, the complete overview of life cycle hook methods. Class component have some life cycle hooks as well as function component life cycle hook methods. You are going to learn all of them. Latest version added some new hooks. You are going to learn about those. Once we are good with components, then we will go into the concept of working with forms. We will learn about how do we work with the native React related forms as well as third party forms like Formic and Yup. You will learn how to design the forms and validate the forms, form validations and all. Once we are done with the forms, we will go into the concept of working with services. We will learn how to interact with APIs. We will uh, use APIs and we will build some templates using APIs. Once we are done with the APIs, we will go into the concept of routing. In routing, you are going to learn how to build proper single page applications. You will understand about configuring the routes, route parameters, authenticating the routes, defining lazy routes, the complete route cycle, all these things you are going to understand. Once the routing is done, now we will build a complete end-to-end -end application using MERN stack where you will learn about MongoDB as database, Express as middleware, Node.js as server side and uh, React in the front end. By using all these, we will learn how to build a complete end-to-end -end application. So while building end-to-end -end application, we will also learn about React state management, that is Redux, which is a Redux library, which is a state management library. By using that, we will learn how to build applications and manage state for application. Then we will finally discuss about the concept of building React native applications for mobile. I will show you React native and give an introduction to how we can build mobile native application using third party framework like Ionic. So once we are good with all the complete development, we are going to learn how do we build, debug, test and deploy applications. You will learn how to test the React application. You will learn how to deploy onto cloud. You will also learn about complete end-to-end -end environment using Webpack. 
which is very frequently asked in regular react requirements. So, we will learn how to build react end to end application using webpack. What is webpack, how you bundle the files and how do we create react application with webpack you are going to understand. So, you will learn how react is used with regard to other technologies like .NET, Java, PHP, Python, how it is integrated and used. These are all the course contents you are going to learn in our react and for course registration and detailed course content, please follow the link given below and please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you.